consumerism, commercialism, and materialism replaced real religion back in the 1980s. That's why it's so easy, especially nowadays, to replace it with other ideologies. The start of this change was probably closer to the 1960s, maybe the early to mid-1960s, but it became the most glaring and obvious in the 1980s. Hey, you know, you can be just like this rock star if you buy these pants. Don't strive to be the best person you can be. That's old grandma stuff. Don't listen to your elders. Strive for greatness by keeping up with the Joneses. Put it in kids' heads that consumerism is rebellion. Don't just be someone's friend. You need to impress them. Be impressive. Be e impressive. That was the whole thing about the 1980s. For a music analogy, let's use rock as an example. It's why in the 1970s, guitar solos went from being very artistic, catchy, but really unusual, sort of wanting to take you on an adventure, to by the mid-80s, wanting to be congratulated for fitting the most arpeggios into a single measure. Ooh, aren't you impressed with how good I am at playing my instrument? Just like, ooh, look, look at how impressive I look with all of this glam. Drumming in rock went from having a lot of jazz influence to simple rhythm patterns and massive reverb on the snare. Now that's not saying that it didn't take talent to do because they did it with such precision that it almost sounded like a drum machine, but you know. In the 90s we started to realize how commercialized we had become, and that's what spawned the whole grunge era, the raw era so to speak. Makeup went from bright blue eyeshadow in the 80s to earth tones in the 90s, trying for that whole natural look. Storefronts went from really bright colors to very dull colors, sometimes black, sometimes white, but the colors were again kind of gone into the earth tones. Orange became an unacceptable color. It was avoided at all costs. And then by 1998, we realized that our attempts to be raw had been just sort of bought out, and that it was now just another attempt by companies to cash in on a fad. And of course, whenever that happens, an era dies. And after that, we seem to have just tried to pick and choose things that we liked from the 90s and try to refine them. Honestly, by 2000, there wasn't anything that this consumerist, over-the-top kind of mindset hadn't completely infiltrated. And now that companies have really, they've put everything over the top as much as they possibly can into promoting consumerism, and they've ran out of ways of making consumerism rebellious, people are now starting to turn to rebelling against unspoken rules that have always been in our society. People are now rebelling against everything that holds the society together. It's a recipe for disaster. But hey, at least The Last Jedi had made good sales, and the Consumer Confidence Index is doing well, so, you know, 